Earth, Sea, and the ecosystem. We are thinking of our environment. As marine transportation has increased, side effects like disturbance of the marine ecosystem due to microorganisms in ballast water have consistently increased as well. Ballast water carries more than 7,000 species of microbes, plants, and animals, leading to the appearance of new species every nine weeks in the world. This brings about heavy economic damage. In order to solve this problem, the International Maritime Organization, IMO, adopted the International Convention for the Control and Management of Ships' Ballast Water and Sediments in February 2004. And the ballast water management system is compulsory to be installed in newly built vessels from 2012 and all ships from 2017. The BWM Convention shall enter into force 12 months after ratification by 30 states and a combined 35% of the world's merchant fleets. As the compliance date passes before IMO ratification, this convention will be applied retroactively. 36 states, 29.07% to date. The Ballast Water Management System is a technology preventing an invasion of an exotic species from other areas by disinfecting aquatic organisms or microorganisms in the ballast water. The ballast water management system being developed by KT Marine Company Limited was granted basic approval from IMO and research and development is underway for final approval and type approval. Also, KT Marine Company Limited acquired a patent for the inline ballast water management system. Feature 1 Compact with a small footprint. Compared with its competitors, KTM BWMS does not need a wide footprint due to its compact size and it is easy to install. Also, the plan kill pipe and the electrolyzer do not need a footprint with installation to the ballast pipeline directly. Feature 2 Low Power Consumption The KTM BWMS does not need an additional generator due to its low power consumption which is only 12 to 16 kilowatt hours at 250 meters cubed per hour capacity and 50 to 60 kilowatt hours at 1000 meters cubed per hour capacity. Feature 3 Low Installation Cost The KTM BWMS can be installed from 2 to 5 days during voyage no need to dock for installation due to its compact size. Therefore, it can save costs as off-hire does not occur. Feature 4. Low Maintenance Cost The KTM BWMS does not need a filter and you can save on the replacement cost of the filter. Filters used as a pretreatment brings rising maintenance costs due to frequent backwashing and the need for replacement due to clogging. A patented Plankill pipe unit plays the substitute role for the filter. Feature 5 High Performance and Global After Service Network The KTM BWMS can operate in low salinity areas and KT Marine plans to establish a global service network for optimal operation. The ballasting process of the KTM BWMS is as follows. The ballast water inletted by the ballast pump passes the Plankill pipe unit 
through a flow meter and a salinity meter. The Plankill pipe unit can be installed directly in the main ballast pipelines and is easy to install and maintain. Without a power supply, the microorganisms are first shocked and damaged by the physical effect of collision and turbulence, which helps to reduce the burden on the next electrolyzer unit. The damaged microorganisms pass through the Plankill pipe unit and are eliminated by passing the electrolyzer unit. The electrolyzer unit is an inline installation as a modular type and can be replaced easily by the crew. This unit has high compatibility as a modular type and maintains stable efficiency due to its strong disinfectant effect. The ballast water is stored in the ballast tank after the microorganisms are completely removed and residual chlorine generated with the process controls regrowth of the microorganisms. The deballasting process of the KTM BWMS is as follows. The treated ballast water in the ballast tank passes through a flow meter by a ballast pump and becomes neutralized by mixing with a neutralizing agent from the neutralizer unit. The ballast water will be discharged to the sea after chloride concentration is checked by the TRO sensor. In order to reduce residual TRO as Cl2 in the ballast tank, the neutralizer unit improves efficiency with a turbulence effect using a motor inverter. This process is automatically controlled by the PLC. KTM BWMS has the following models for each ballast capacity. KT Marine Company Limited will take the lead in developing technologies for humanity and the environment based on solid original technology. Thank you.